Welcome back to Bad Bad Bowling 101 with your boy C. Today I'm going to be doing another ball comparison. So I did the ball comparison between this electric infinite physics and the Storm Nova. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be doing another ball review with the infinite physics, of course, as you see it here, but also the UC3, the Roto Grip UC3 urethane ball. Now, the best part about it is I wanted to make it a little even. So we know that this has the atomic core with the um, reactive pearl cover stock. This one over here, UC3, um, the UC3, Roto Grip UC3, this ball actually has the Rondier core and it has what's called the urethane cover stock because it's a urethane slash pearl ball. So what I did to make these even is I actually put this and put this one both to 1000 grit finish and I put wax on both of them. So the best part is it's even. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these to the lane. We're gonna go ahead, compare these balls that I think it might be more similar than you think. Okay, asymmetrical, symmetrical, all of that hot watch, it doesn't matter today. Today is competition day between these two and me. I'll see you in the lane. All right, so we're gonna start with the UC3. We're gonna throw a couple of shots with this one. Then we're gonna go to the infinite physics. I'm gonna start with my feet about 22, trying to throw about the five at the break point. Over the 10, so we're gonna try to shot one more time. 22 to the 5, between the 7 and the 5. Let's do a little bit. There we go. I like the shot, adjust a little back. Okay, so we're gonna try to at the 22, which is gonna move up about a half an inch. Still try to play the same shot, see how it works. There we go. Oh no, bad lead. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to move over to 23. And play that same exact shot, see if I can't carry. I do, right? Okay, so I'm going to try that 23 again. I like the way it looks. It was nice and shaped. I controlled it. Let's give it another try. Okay, maybe playing it over 9 is better than playing it over to 7 to 5. Okay, so I'm going to play it back over to 23. But I'm going to try to hold it inside the 9 to 7 range. And, this, and after this shot, we'll go ahead and get into the, uh, the infinite good. That's a good shot. Okay, so now we're shot over the infinite physics. I'm actually going to put my feet on 23 and throw the same exact shot, the same line. There we go. 
Okay, so I have an opportunity to throw both balls and I would tell you that it's beautiful out there, but again, I'm not a pro, so I'm just doing what I can do. But what I will say is there is a lot of similarities in the way these balls pick up into the mid, late down the lane, and, and has a great break point. So do I like the way both balls flow? Absolutely. Do I enjoy throwing both balls? Absolutely. So I'm gonna enjoy it so much that I'm gonna get back out there for several more shots and close it down. Well, it's a lot humid. So a lot humid in here. So sliding's a little tacky, even though I'm moving on slide pads, which we'll have a conversation about that one day. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my feet over to 30 and I'm gonna try to throw it over in 15. Break point out to about the 10 and see what happens. Just to see if we can hold this line. infinite physics and what I will tell you about the UC3 is if you if it wasn't polished and it was just a urethane surface it would get back and I'll show you later on when I do a ball review on it another one with the surface change it's a really magnificent ball so don't think for a second that it, it can't get back because it can I'm gonna light up with my feet on the same thing 30-ish Thank you. 
the opportunity to throw both balls several times as you know and there is a lot of comparison between the two um your team, i love it i go this ball up when i go to nationals and i use it as my first ball out the bag a lot of people think i'm weird for it but i score pretty well at least the end of nationals that bothers me this baby i wasn't sure if i was going to keep it and i'm still not sure if i'm going to keep it but it gets the job done it goes long goes long great back ends both so would i recommend both absolutely i would say give it a shot it definitely couldn't hurt you okay now i bowl in park Wayne's, illinois so for me it's always plus or minus so if you bowl a similar style to me great if you don't it still may work for you but it's up to you to decide so what you have to do is you guys are going to have to think about whether or not you are interested in either ball and decide for yourself. Now, if you do have either ball or you're thinking about using either ball, here's what you do. In the comments, let me know. I'm be more than happy to hear which ball you might be going with or even what's in your bag. Or what works for you. Of course, the counter might go to the counter. So, with that being said, there's one other thing I'd like to talk to you about at the close of this video. We're going to be on August 5th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're gonna host another mini live event. And this time at the event, the winner of the event, the highest pin total of the event, I'm gonna give one of my balls away for free. That's right, you heard it from me. The highest pin count, I'm gonna give away a ball for free. And, and if we have 250 viewers, one of the lucky viewers will also get a ball shipped to them on me to you. That's right, I said it first. Now, it's August 5th, 7 p.m. And again, I'm Clarence, Bad Bad Bowling. Thank you again for watching. And let's hear what's in your bag.